Professor Horror. Scary Stories. Murder of Logan Tucker. Logan Tucker, born on April 10, 1996, was a six-year-old American boy who became the victim of a murder where no body was found. In 2002, Logan lived with his mother, Catherine Rutan, his four-year-old brother Justin, and his mother's roommate, Melody Lennington. Prior to Logan's disappearance, the Oklahoma Department of Human Services, known as OKDHS, had taken custody of Logan and Justin after their mother threatened to harm them. They were returned shortly afterwards. Rutan claimed she had seen Logan playing with matches. She said he was dangerous and that she was afraid he would hurt his younger brother. Three days before Logan went missing, Rutan told OKDHS that she wanted to give up her parental rights of Logan and Justin. OKDHS agreed to take custody of the children and place them in a residential treatment center, but they did not have an opening for several days. Rutan was furious when she found out they would not take Logan immediately. Melody Lennington, Rutan's roommate, last saw Logan on the evening of June 22, 2002, when she put both children to bed. She said she awoke between 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. to the sound of Logan screaming and crying. She went back to sleep, and at 6 a.m., she asked Rutan where Logan was. She said that Logan was sick and she had placed him in the basement. Later, Rutan said OKDHS had taken Logan away, that he was with his father, or that he was in a psychiatric hospital. OKDHS did not take Logan and were not scheduled to do so until the next morning. Logan was not at any of the other places Rutan named. Witnesses said after that day, Rutan looked relieved that Logan was gone and even started selling his clothes and belongings. Logan's grandparents reported him missing on July 7, 2002, after getting evasive answers from Rutan about where Logan was. When authorities searched Rutan and Lennington's apartment, they found bloodstains and masking tape with hair stuck to it in the basement. On August 22, 2002, Logan's brother Justin told FBI agents what happened the night Logan went missing. He said his mother took him and Logan out to the country. Justin said that Logan was in the back seat of the car, pale and hunched over, but not crying or talking. Justin had also asked Rutan why she needed the plastic she was carrying, and she responded to bury Logan. She then left Justin in the car, taking Logan with her. He said his mother told him to stay in the car because there were snakes out there. Justin said his mother had a shovel and some plastics. She crossed a fence and went out into the field. She later returned without Logan. Logan's body has never been found. He is presumed to have died on the night he went missing. Police believe Rutan buried Logan in the woods or field of Woodward County, or possibly dumped him in Fort Supply Lake. Rutan was convicted of first-degree murder in September 2007, and the jury recommended a sentence of life in prison without the possibility of parole. Rutan was formally sentenced to life without parole in October 2007.